the journey to overcoming chaos starts with understanding it. I think of chaos in three categories, natural chaos, the things that you see in the contracts with insurance companies when they talk about acts of God, earthquakes, tsunamis, you name it, things that are completely outside of our control. The second category is social chaos. It has to do with the relationships among us and between us. And the third one is internal chaos. What do we do with chaos? The natural things happening to us that we can't control. An earthquake takes place and destroys a city. About all we can do with natural chaos is decide how much preparation we want to make in advance for it. And it costs us something to make those kind of preparations. Most of us in our homes have got uh, smoke detectors. It's a small preparation for what could be a natural disaster. But there are other things that are so costly to prepare for that we really can't afford to do much preparation. A meteorite hitting the earth. What can we do about that as a civilization? The second kind of chaos, however, is in the news each and every day. And if anything, we think there's more of it. This chaos among us is pervasive. If you're running an organization trying to manage a whole enterprise or a department within the enterprise, you're confronted with this every day. New people coming into your organization, having dis- different expectations or misalignments in their skill sets, people you thought had this skill who do not. So it's an everyday thing we see and we sense the amount of chaos more than we ever have in the past. If you study history, you could argue that really there isn't more chaos now than there's ever been, but there's certainly a great deal more awareness of the chaos. So as a leader, the greatest uh, challenges you have is to deal with the chaos between and among us. Now, the third area is the chaos within, and this to me is the most foundational. It's like the organic chemistry of society. It's hard to have stability and order between people when there's chaos within us. What what is chaos within? You can read psychology, you can read lots of sources. Personally, I think the Bible has some of the greatest insight as to how we're constructed and what a source of chaos is. Basically, the Bible says there's four main elements to our architecture desire part of us, the heart, the mind, which thinks and interprets the desires. And imagination is the formation of the first creation that comes out of our thinking and the triggers action. We begin to imagine the house we want to build or the business we want to build, and then we start taking action. It's those four components. But the problem occurs when those four things are not aligned and it feels chaotic. If I want to build a business or build a house, build something, and I undertake the effort to do that, and I find out I don't have enough resource, then that creates a sort of chaos and tension in me, and I start doing things to get more resource. Or I don't have the skills, and I become frustrated in the attempt to do something I don't know how to do. We see that in young people all the time, youngsters who are trying to be in their first ball game and get frustrated because they can't hit the ball. When you see behaviors in your organization where people are having the equivalent of a child's tantrum, deep down there's some misalignment. There's something that they're seeking and wanting that they are not getting. I'm not saying that what they're wanting is right. That can be a source of chaos too, wanting the wrong things. But the, the alignment of when we get when we want right things when we have the wisdom to know how to pursue those right things and imagine the right course of action, and then the skills to pursue that course of action, that creates an internal kind of peace. We have to ask in the world today what the root causes are of all the chaos among us. And much of that root cause has to do with the chaos within us. What I do want to point out is that chaos itself is not really the enemy. Chaos is a source of raw materials from which to move to another level of order. So getting your attitude right about not feeling like you're a victim of chaos, but beginning to realize that it's a natural state of things for humans. God created the heavens and the earth, and they were void and without form. And then he began to bring order out of it. So chaos in your life is the confrontation of your desire to bring order out of things 
and the, the chaos is the state or the raw material from which you're bringing that order. Whether it's raising a family or cooking a meal or building a business, it doesn't matter. It's all the same idea, a desire to bring order, create something, and the skills that are needed to do it.